Sup, all JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how Michael Jordan attempted to do something never done in NBA history by playing for the Washington Wizards. You may have seen videos on why Jordan played for the Wizards and how he interacted with Kwame Brown while there, but this video is going to look at Jordan's possible motivation behind his decision to return and how, if it would have worked, would have added an unreachable layer to his GOAT status. Remember to check out my past couple of videos on the LeBron 16 and NBA reporter Chris Haynes' journey to reporting. And also, I've got some great topics rolling out in the next couple of weeks, so I would appreciate it if you can leave a thumbs up on this video and your feedback in the comments down below so I know you're ready for all the heat that's coming. And let's get into it. First of all, how did we get to Jordan coming out of retirement for a second time? After the Bulls' first three-peat, Jordan retired to play baseball or was forced to take a temporary leave of absence by David Stern for gambling. It's a conspiracy. He made Space Jam and proceeded to come back, eventually winning another three titles with the Bulls. In 1998, the Bulls roster broke up for good, and in 99, Jordan retired for the second and final time. Except... He came back again, 17 years ago to Tuesday, September 25th, to play for the Washington Wizards. With this, Jordan already accomplished something never done in NBA history, and that's to unretire twice and return to the hardwood. The underlying story here, though, that I've always wondered about deals with the why behind Jordan's decision to play for the Wizards. Yes, we all know Jordan is one of the, if not the, most competitive player in NBA history, and I've watched YouTube videos on this being the main reason why he came back. Now, I agree that his ultra-competitive nature fueled him to come back, but I believe that in itself can be expanded on. Here's where I'm going with this. As president of basketball operations, MJ took a high school prospect by the name of Kwame Brown, the number one overall pick in the 2001 NBA draft, and during his years in this position, he completely overhauled the roster into rebuilding mode. Why would he want to play for this type of team at 38 years old? Jordan was quoted in the AP saying, I know there are a lot of naysayers out there. Winning isn't always championships. What's wrong with helping kids find their way, teaching them the game? Sounds like he's trying to better young players with his wisdom, but I see beyond that. Think about this. What if Jordan would have taken this team to the postseason at near 40 years old? That would have been an added, untouchable layer to cement his legacy as GOAT. Think about Kwame Brown. Jordan attempted to take him under his wing every bit. He played the part of the 19-year-old kid's idol and told him that he'd do everything he could to make him a star. Now, this failed miserably, but what if it didn't? Jordan would have literally taken a guy that he drafted number one that was not widely considered for that pick and proved everyone wrong by bettering his game in the way of playing with the dude himself. Literally, this formula of drafting a guy and turning him into a star by playing with him wouldn't have ever been matched by another player again. LeBron carried subpar NBA talent to the finals in 2007 and 2018, but even this would have failed in comparison to Jordan's time with Brown and this Wizards team. If you watch my video on LeBron and Jordan, you would know that I believe there are two GOATs both for their respected eras. Now with this said, I firmly believe that if Jordan could have pulled off a playoff run with this Wizards team at age 38 or 39, bettering Kwame Brown and those young players in the process, there would be no question about him being the GOAT. Why? Because Jordan basically said, people doubt my number one pick? Well, let me show them how good he could be by playing with him myself. This will never happen again, and it would have been incredible if it had worked. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Why do you think Jordan came back to play for the Wizards? Remember, subscribe, like, and leave your be back in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.